Hey everybody, welcome back to the episode. Let's play Pokemon Cosmic in the last episode. We actually finally got up here and found out what Mirabee is wanting to do and my freaking Quagsire and Mistrevious does not want to corrupt away with the stupid hyper mode. Yeah, so now let's go actually maybe head to the actual Mirabee position. Which is not going to happen because we're going to fight more people by the way. Yeah. More fights on the way. But now before we do... I want to check what's my Pokemon in my... Okay, so Quacks... Well, okay, let's see which one has the... Okay, Quacks is almost done. Uh, Mischievous should be the last one, I guess. Because Quacks I can do it no sweat just by walking, so... Alright, it's going to be a disadvantage for me because I have two types that can basically kill each other, so... Uh, here we go. Let's fight. Yeah, you're finally here. This floor in my territory can't let you through. Not even letting me through. There's no... Whatsoever, any plans of letting me through? I knew it. I don't know. Okay, so there's Anorith. I think that's the name because I never actually pronounced the name. Of course, I don't even know what it is for the anime because I don't think they ever really shown it off. Of the they don't even really know what they made it to the anime. Anime episode, they did show it because it was pretty boring. Pokemon, I didn't really care it, so yay! I know a lot of explanation here really about. But anyways, I'm gonna actually make uh, Shadow Rush on that and uh, Confuse Way on Low Tech because it's half grass. But it's, not, it's gonna do normal damage because it's also water. Wow, half damage attack basically, so wow. There was Shadow Rush. Well, it's not really half damage if, if also uh, Espeon is, you know, psychic, which gets its a two times attack boost with its, you know, being the same type of the same attack that it's new, so whatever. But, hey, what can I, what can I do? Anyways. Alright, so Espeon was absorbed, or whatever. Alright, so, uh, let's do it around. Yep, doing it around town. The biggest town of them all, man. Alright, so Anorith is dead. I really need to get these Pokemon of mine healed from their shadow... ...like powers. Something of, that's even a word most of them are so. Yay, more explanation for me! And everyone knows how good I'm at explanations. No, I'm not. At all. <laughs> okay. Oopsie, I lost. Really oopsie. Plus, I think she reminds me of that girl from Pokemon's uh, Revolution, which I know a lot of people hate that game. And I actually wanted to LP it. Yeah. True fact. I see Shadow wants to LP Pokemon Revolution. Feels like it feels like that's not the name for it for some reason. Pokemon Revolution. Pokemon Evolution. Pokemon. We Evolution. It, it feels like I'm not saying it for some reason. I don't know why. Anyways, there, there's a box. So now I'm actually kind of curious. I actually want to take out the box and actually check, but I'm pretty sure it's oh, it's Pokemon. Battle Evolution. When I think about it, oh, okay, that's why. So I was wrong on the on the title of the name. It's Battle Revolution, because just the word Pokemon Revolution doesn't sound like it's title. It actually just sounds like something else. And Misty, where are you going? Freaking Sakura trying to do her stupid Sakura thingies, whatever the hell that thingy might be. Okay, so anyways, next battle. All right, what's going on here? I heard there was no one intrud intruder. But, there's obviously two of you. Very true. Good time, good sir. Even though your name is Chaser Mayes, or my, May, my, Mays, Mays, Billy Mays here. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, Billy Mays here. Introducing to the big slitty slider. <laughs> or, I don't know. Okay, I gotta tell you guys right now. If you've never seen any of uh, any of the Billy Mays uh, YouTube poops, I recommend it. Those are the best ones there has ever been. It's like one of the most famous ones there is, and the channel, if it's still around right now. Well, I, don't, I should be still around. I don't, I don't, there's no reason why it shouldn't be. Uh, it's called like J Booty Dubs, and um, <clears throat> like the first maybe year, no, the first year. 
that me and Exceeding Wolf were like hanging out almost like every fucking day in my whole life or something right after, uh, like, by the way, my senior year of high school, which was 2010 before it, because I started in 2010, and then my, I was graduating in 2011, just, you know, class 2011, so it was like during that time, and Josh was like obsessed with Billy Mays, and me watching all these Billy Mays fucking videos, and then, you know, I, I started seeing more poops and poops and poops, and I was like one of my very first, like, YouTube poop videos, and honestly, I didn't know they were the best ones. I've seen new ones from other people, it's just that they're not the best because maybe for me it's just because of the nostalgia feeling of just watching Billy Mays and I'm like it used to make me laugh all the time. And then I've seen it over and 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 over again. It kind of got rusty on me, but you know, it's still like the best one there are. I seriously just put in Billy Mays. YouTube pooper, Jay Booty Duck. I don't know. Whatever. Just you'll find it. Just put in Billy Mays and see what it gives you. If it gives you just a plain, boring infomercials, which you saw on like TV for like five or plus years ago, don't watch those. Don't watch OxyClean or Big City Sliders or Hercules Hooks. I think. Yeah, and some other ones that's kind of boring. Just watch the YouTube poops. They're like twice as funny. So, but you know, they're supposed to be twice as funny because the originals are actually not supposed to be funny, but. Whatever. Anyways, let's continue our search to find Mirror B. And I didn't pay attention at all. My Pokemon were even hit. Oh yeah, they were. But it didn't really matter because they won. I wasn't even really thinking because I was thinking about Billy Mays. Billy Mays here. Okay, now I just made myself old. Okay. Is there any? No, I kind of hate not knowing where to go because, well, I have a guidebook. Yeah, but I I kind of want to do this part by myself without the guidebook because we'll. It's kind of an obvious place to not use the guidebook for because it's just a big maze. And yeah, you can get lost, but if you get into a cornered place or you want to go into somewhere else that you didn't go into before, and actually might get something new, I recommend going to the new place. But that's just me. Anyways. Ah, great. Metatite is a setup one. Okay, you attack him and you attack him. All right. Now let's see how it's gonna happen. Oh, and by the way, I think I should have been using my iPod for this because I actually don't have a timer. So let's just say I've been recording for five minutes. I just want to say that, but it's probably not even the right number. I want to say seven to eight, but let's say five and put like five extra minutes in there. Or not five extra minutes. Just say it is sort of that. So. Alright, sorry. I just. No, let's actually say ten. Can I say ten minutes? I'll say 10 minutes to be on the shorts. No, I'll do 5. If it gets 2.20, I'll think about ending it when it it should kind of logically actually be like 25 or plus, so. Whatever, okay, it's my mind. No, not yours. The uh, Decky Harder. Go subscribe to Decky No Side at Decky No Side. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say DeckyNoSide.com, that's not Deckyharder at all. YouTube.com slash user slash I think it's user is it slash user? I don't know. Uh, it's not it can be decking it'd be T K M T E H K A M. But everyone knows it as Decky Nose. You can just put it up in the search YouTube Google thingy, or you can also do it on Twitter. Twitter cool. Decky Nose. Cool. Twitter. Why am I always talking about Decky Nose? Oh my god, even without the randomest moments ever, Shadow, and I'm still oh my god, don't attack. Don't attack actually. I just wanna notice that. His health is almost dead. Okay. Oh, and by the way, there's a watch going off, so I can't really go stop it. Now, here's a funny story with this watch. Great, more story time. Shut up. This watch I have, it's behind my TV by accident. Now, here's the thing. When I had an old-ass TV, and I still have this old-ass TV, by the way, just going to let you know. It's one of those... Brands that don't aren't really big anymore, like Sanyo, S A N Y O, San Sanyo or Sanyo, whatever. And it's the big, like you know, bricky boxed TV screens, you know, the old ones that have the big fucking thing in the back, which a lot of kids won't know nowadays. But you know, if you're growing up nowadays, so uh, like those kind of TVs. And I used to have that in my room, and uh, 
I never recorded with that TV ever, so don't worry about it. I never recorded with it. But oh shit. Okay, so, but I uh <sighs> shit. But I watch TV on that all the time. I had that TV ever since as long as I can remember. And I mean I I can't explain okay, now I should really go back because I went to a part which I that which actually makes me beat the level in the way. But I had this TV for as long as I can probably remember. Like the longest. Probably been with me for my whole life or something for some reason. And this TV still works fine. And I can't take took in care of that TV. I don't know if it was originally mine or originally my sister because she was older than me, which she still older than me of course, you know, three years older or two and a half years older, whatever. But like I still had this TV for like the longest time. And then when my dad finally told me, hey, I got you like an HD light TV that, that's like, you know, everyone almost has this brand because it's probably one of the cheapest, the cheapest brands, the cheapier, the cheap, what's up with the cheapest brand there is. Uh, it's a Vizio TV, and the Vizio TVs are great. Everyone knows they're great. But it's just that they're the cheapest ones there is and next to like LG and Sony and whatever else there is. I can't remember right now. I mean, there's like a lot of them, a good brand, but like, I just had that TV for the longest time, and I wanted to keep that TV in my room still, and, and my and my uh, little what do you call it nightstand or something where the TV go. There's no room for two TVs, no way. Um, but I always wanted to have two TVs in my room, and I eventually did that the year later. But it was like a little mini TV, which it was my sister's for a fact. It was my sister's. My dad bought it for her, and uh, once my sister got like, <laughs> she bought her own gigantic big ass HD TV for only for her room, uh, which I can't remember the brand. Um, she just kind of like just put it away, but I, I'll say, I say put it away in a really generous way because knowing her, she does not put stuff away like that. She just tosses it away, like seriously, she tosses it away. But uh, I took care of the TV too, and I put it in my room for. A a certain amount of time, about a year, maybe a year. It was during my high school senior year, mostly, I could say. Probably was. And, well, I just, uh, I'm just, I left it next to my 360 and my Nintendo and my uh, Sega Genesis. And if you want to know what Nintendo is, the original Nintendo, that's why I didn't say anything with it. Um, so, I kind of just left it next to it, and now right next to the between those two, if you ever see, see my vlogs or anything like that on my Shadow Knight Super X account, uh, that's where my Wii U is now, <laughs> and uh, you're probably saying, Shadow, whatever happened to that little mini TV now? Um, it's still, it's still in my house, it's just that, like I said, no one really uses it, and that little mini TV, I really did like, it, yeah, it's a little mini TV, and uh, my friend uh, Anthony, Zombie Dog X Triple I, Makes fun of it, calling it a lunchbox. <laughs> I thought it was a funny name. I eventually called it my lunchbox too, but it was a uh, built-in DVD player, like you know, with it. And you know, I just I liked the TV. It's just I also used it in my sister's room when when we lived in like an old house and the house we're living in now before. But like I just used to use it all the time. And uh, that's really about it. Just not much. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just battling all these freaking people. I don't even know what's going on. So. Plus, I wasn't even paying attention to the last battle whatsoever. Just smashing buttons, I'm assuming. And I didn't pay attention to I even killed the Shadow Pokemon. So if I did, I'm sorry. And I'm stupid. Seriously, I, just, I really did not notice if I killed a Shadow Pokemon or not. Anyways. Okay, come on, Mysterious. Um. Yeah, that's the best combination you could do right now because, you know, Espeon is killing everything because everything's like... Like, everything is like the types that can basically die from a psychic type, so... Keep them coming! You're just boosting up my Espeon. Well, yeah, eventually also my other Pokemon, which, you know, get XP after their uh, Shadow Guards are gone, but... You know, just kind of waiting. Alright, so what was a lot... See, I didn't pay attention to the Pokemon that just came out. Oh yeah, it keeps doing Shadow Rush and hitting itself. Alright. But anyways, back to the TV uh, story. Yeah, so 
I used it a lot for watching DVD on it basically. And it was just the greatest, like, I just had no problems whatsoever with it at all. And then, uh, when I realized... Oh, ooh, I'm sorry. When I realized I was getting a Wii U... Well, I didn't realize I was getting a Wii U. I was actually preparing myself to get a Wii U. Yeah, I was already preparing myself to get a Wii U. That's a weird statement, but it's true. I, I was preparing myself to get a Wii U, and... Um, I'm thinking to myself, okay, I know the Wii U is going to replace where my Wii is, which, uh, I, I leave my Wii, uh, on the floor, uh, with a standee, which, you know, it doesn't get heated with the carpet or anything, so that's a good thing. So, I was thinking, maybe I should do the same, same thing with the Wii U. But now, when the Wii U came out, I realized it didn't have a standee like the Wii, so it was like... Oh god, it, it can. That's a bad thing if I leave it on the ground with that. So, damage. So, I had to move my little mini TV, which I did use a lot, which is, you know, I, I liked it a lot. So, I had to move that out of my room and put the Wii U exactly where the uh, mini TV was. And you're probably saying, what do you do with your Wii? I put it under my bed and I took out my GameCube, which I'm playing on right now, actually. And, uh,. That was also most I was gonna do with my Wii anyway, just play with my GameCube. And so, because my Wii U, it plays Wii games and Wii U games, and all the virtual console games on it when I, you know, moved all the things to it. So, it works fine, everything, you know. In, in case it always, in case, aw, this baby is sorry you died. See what I did? Uh, in cases, you know, like, it, it like freezes, you know. All Wii U's are apparently freezing for some god reason. Or I don't know, do you still need to patch things up they're trying to figure out, I think? But whatever. Uh, to them, it doesn't happen as often. But, you know, players can, you know, say it does or doesn't. But anyways. Um, that's kind of a little mini story on that, but still. Okay, seriously, how far am I getting into this? Alright, next battle. Oh, you're not battling me? Oh, okay, that was weird. Like, you're not battling me. It's like, oh, wait, never mind. You are battling me, so. Anyways, uh, that's my little mini TV Wii U story. <laughs> well, mostly the TV story, but still. Um, now, I have to kind of prepare myself on getting a PS4. Yes, I'm. I don't know it right now. I don't know it again. Several times on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, if I need to, anywhere. Probably in like the belt thingy. Exceeding Shadow will be getting a Wii U instead of an Xbox One. Oh, that's the truth. I'm not joking. Uh, I know I'm an avid Xbox 360 user. I know, I know. You're probably saying, so why are you getting a Xbox, or an Xbox 4, yeah, a PS4. Uh, Xbox is just, they took so much shit up their ass this E3 that nobody really wants. Well, not even E3, like before it. The Xbox reveal stream. Or reveal, they called it. I, I streamed it before, so that's why I call it stream. And, well, they did stream it, you know what I mean. And everything they, got, they, they, brought, they brought, it was, yeah, maybe some games here and there, but nobody cared for. And... Then they talked about entertainment, like, I, I that's great, I can watch Xbox YouTube with, like, stats on basketball stuff, and talk about football stuff, and soccer, and any other sports, like, hockey, or tennis, or golf, boxing, whatever, wrestling, but I just, I'm thinking, what? And then he started announcing things during the, you know, the presentation, the, the, the Xbox reveal, and during the past days and weeks up to E3. And then they basically told you everything in during E3, and then maybe like one week more of like telling us about their Xbox One stuff. And everyone, I mean everyone was hating on console, except for like the Xbox fanboys, of course, because they're fanboys, what, what you can say. And it's like, Okay, I don't want to get a 
Xbox One because they're not going to support my 360 games. I'm not going to get an Xbox One because it wants me to play online all the time or sign on to Xbox Online all the time, one time per day and just whatever. And what happens if we have internet shitty connection the whole time? Or if there's a whole month or we don't even have internet anymore? And would the console just be useless then? Yes, it will. So it's just, it's just so much shit that everybody hates for it. If you already, people are even hating the design of it. Some people will call it, oh look, it's a VHS, or a VHS, sorry, a, a VCR, or something like that. Or hey, why are we calling it the Xbox One? It's just the original, the Xbox One, it's just the original Xbox. Xbox, the original one, the first one. But nope, they're calling it the Xbox One because it's called the Xbox One because it's all in one. It's like, oh my fucking god. The only improvement they did was with the 360 to the Xbox One. It's probably Blu-ray because Xbox 360 they had a deal ship or deal ship. They had a deal with um uh, that one kind of company. I don't know who made it. It was those special edition like red kind of Blu-ray looking kind of discs, which like never sold because they were just HD Blu-ray discs, but they weren't Blu-ray at all. It wouldn't even look as crisp because it was just HD. But Blu-ray, they were already HD and more crisp and more beautiful and stuff. So they kind of lost the rights on that. Well, they didn't lose the rights, it's just that they stopped making them. So that made them obsolete automatically in Xbox 360, not even using it whatsoever, probably for like the first year that it came out or something. And seriously, that's like, why? Why would we even get that whatsoever? So. Still, you know, it just kind of, whatever. And yeah, the Xbox One, yeah, they're changing like all the policies you said. Yeah, it's basically like normal now. But that doesn't mean they're gonna change some things. Like that Killer Instinct game is probably the most anticipated game for the console, and they're still shitting on the game itself. Why would we want to pay five extra dollars for a whole entire character? Just one. Yeah, they're making the game free. I, like that's cool, but the, not. It's not cool if you want to make. The full game basically payable from every single character. No, no, no. That's even worse than DLC, which it is DLC, and that's like the worst kind of DLC. <sighs> that's just pisses me off, man. It really does. It really does. <sighs> so okay, now let's actually go back to whichever way I was actually going before, which now I don't remember at all. I came from here, so okay. So I supposed to go back up there and what's not. Ah, but seriously, just everyone is switching to the PS4. Even my good friends, Daniel, Anthony. Well, possibly Anthony. He's, he's still a really badass Xbox fan, so I don't know if it's gonna be persuading him to even get the uh, PS4. A lot of good, of my, a lot of my friends are switching to the PS4. I mean, just because they all the shit they said and all the stuff they even provide. The PS4 or the PS3. Uh, that a lot of us, you know, probably own or don't own, uh, got re to the PS4. I mean, there's nothing bad that nobody's even hating on it. And that's like, wow, you know? No one's hating the PS4, like, or 3 or whatever for once. So it's like, wow. Yeah, they fixed everything from their past controller, the PS3 controller. Those stupid little slidey trigger buttons, they're gone. They actually made them into, like, an actual trigger button, which does not slide off. Uh, the one thing is that people are still kind of, you know, speculating on that touch screen kind of pause thing, which I don't really get so. But don't we guess, because, you know, it's not really out, and you only get tested like, at conventions and stuff. But during this time, it will be out in, like, a month or three, month or two, I don't know. So, we'll just see how it comes out. I'm going to be testing it out, but I'm not going to buy it, just I'm going to be testing it out, so. I do want to buy it, though, just by the way, just because anyone was curious, just because, like I said, I'm talking about the PS4 with the video on it, so. Uh, like seriously, the PS4 basically bought me. Like, not during the, pres the, the games on the presentation what they were showing, it's mostly what they were doing at Xbox One, it does not want to do whatsoever. So, it's basically a one. And then when they finally, you know, get to like the E3 stuff, they're like, oh yeah, the actual games and stuff. We were hooked to what we wanted. We showed what we wanted. We, we got King of Hearts 3, we got... An old Final Fantasy game, 14 and 15 coming to the PS3. Well, 14 for PS3 and PS4, and 15 for PS4. 
I mean, the biggest thing there was actually Kingdom Hearts 3. Everyone, no doubt, would say Kingdom Hearts 3 whatsoever. All the time. Kingdom Hearts 3, Kingdom Hearts... Everyone would say it. But anyways, uh, that's... That's just seriously, anyone is smart enough to get the PS4. Oh, so I was saying PS3 with the whole entire little PS3, PS3. I'm at PS4. But anyways, um... I'm wrapping up the video after this battle because... I, like I said, I don't actually remember how much time was from the beginning of the episode because I wasn't having my iPod ready and I keep knowing how long I was recording, so... Anyways. Huh. <sighs> Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, okay. Okay, so... This episode we're going to talk about PS4 and Xbox One stuff along with my TV. That's the most electronical episode ever! But, uh, last, last thing I guess I could talk about until the episode's actually over. Uh, what video game are you looking forward to for? I'm gonna tell you the year and day and all that stuff, which I'm recording right now. Today, everyone, is September 8th, Sunday, September 8th, of 2013. Going in a little time, it's 8 o'clock exact, so it's kind of funny, yes, it is. Um, so, yeah. Now... What game do you want to want, or that's coming out, or it's already out? Me personally, I want Pikmin 3, The Wonderful 101, Sonic Lost World, Pokemon X and Y, mostly just X. I always pick the first one in the title from both. I don't know why. This is how I am. Uh, let's see. Batman Arkham Origins, which there's no way hell I can get this here whatsoever. So, and uh, Super Mario 3D World and uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds, and, well, Rayman Legends for the Wii U. All those are mostly for just Nintendo consoles alone, yeah, did you hear that? All of them were Nintendo this year, not a single thing on any other company I just named. There's no Xbox 360 games coming out whatsoever I want this year. I might buy some games that's already been out, maybe, and there's... Yeah, there's Xbox One that's coming out, but I don't want that on launch. On, on, on launch. PS4 might be coming out this year too, but like, you know, what, what can I do? Is what I'm just <sighs> Anyways. Alright, this time we have to tag. There's no way that we can miss! You stupid quacks! You're still in chow. Really? Really? Okay, what, whatever quacks are, you know? Stupid cracks are still getting me problems for this time of day. Ugh. Ooh, I'm sorry. But anyways, that's really it, honestly. Now I will be going advancing into the. Whoa, man! I got a weird ass burp. I will be advancing more into the to the cave. But, I'm going to do that in the next episode, so, but before we actually go and sign off, I'm actually going to walk all the way back. Yeah, that's why, and I don't know at all if there's a healing station whatsoever, and if there is, I feel super stupid, and, or, I just, I didn't know. Anyways, I'm going to go all the way back just to actually be sure, and 100%, I'm not going to lose and die. So, you got to kind of, you know... Respect that at least, you know, so. <sighs> but, I digress. But anyways, we're almost there. Let's go down this little elevator for like the 17th time. It's just joking, for like third or fourth time. I still don't understand how the hell I'd come out first other than she comes out from the back. I, I don't know. But anyways, we're almost there. And, uh, well, let's end off the video, I guess. Anyways, my name is Beating Senior Shadow. Like the video, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys all for the next episode. Let's play Pokemon Coliseum, which hopefully we can actually finally get to Mirror B and not fight all his minions in the cave and what's not so. Anyways, I'll see you guys all for the next one, right? Deuces.